Now we will run through how to test a kettle. Most kettles, including this one, consist of two parts. The base plate and the kettle itself. When testing, both parts should be treated as one appliance. Make sure that the kettle is secured correctly on the base plate during testing so that results will be reliable. After performing a thorough visual inspection of the plug head, the cable and the appliance itself for any damage, you are ready to begin testing with the PAT testing device. It is important to know what class the appliance is that you are testing and this is indicated by a logo on the plug head and also on kettles on the base plate of the kettle. The logo on this plug head indicates that the kettle we are using here is a class 1 appliance so we will be testing appropriately. In order to test this kettle, we will need to plug the plug into the socket on the front of the tester. Then we will need to plug the earth bond cable into the port on the device. On this device, the port is on the top, but this will vary with different testing devices. We then need to connect the earth bond cable to the heating element inside the kettle. This can be done using a clip like this attached to the earth bond cable or by holding the needle of the earth bond cable to the base of the kettle. Because this kettle heats from the base and doesn't have a specific element to clip to, I will just be holding the needle to the base itself. When attaching the earth bond cable to the element, make sure to avoid any lime scale or mineral buildup and make sure the inside of the kettle is dry to avoid any potential incorrect failures of this test. So now that you have everything connected correctly, we can start the test. First, we'll turn the testing device on. This testing device has a specific button for class one tests, so we'll be pressing that to run through those. I now have the earth bond cable on an exposed part of the element at the base of the kettle, and you'll need to flick the kettle on before beginning the test. We'll now press the class one test button on the device, and it will run through the three tests, checking the fuse, the earthing, and the insulation. This device gives a pass or fail message for each test and then an overall pass or fail after all three. Now as you can see, this kettle has passed all three tests and got a pass mark overall. Because this is a battery powered device, leakage testing is not available, but a passed insulation test result is adequate for this appliance. If a kettle fails any of these tests, a failed sticker should be attached to it, the fuse removed from the plug and the result recorded and the kettle taken out of use. If the kettle passes, like this one has, a pass sticker should be attached to it and the result logged. For an online PAT testing course, free guidance and practice tests, find us on www.healthandsafetytrainingfirst.co.uk or call us on 0330 122 6126.